What's up, YouTube? My name is John Jagsney, and welcome to my series, What the Fuck is After Effects, where we break down a very specific part of this fun but complex piece of software. Let's save you some time and dive right into today's topic. Next we have the rotation tool, and the rotation tool it basically does exactly what you think it would do. It rotates things. So I have this shape layer here, it's just a hexagon. If I hit W on my keyboard, I can just select around it and rotate it. Woo, it spins, sweet. And then if we hit R on our keyboard with that layer selected, we add a keyframe and then we jump forward to like say one second and three frames and we rotate it another way and just keep rotating it and just, yeah, then we got a little animation, sweet. Now another cool thing that you can do with the shape tool, let's just get rid of those rotation keyframes, set it back to zero, is if you make that layer 3D, you can rotate it in 3D space as well. So what does that mean? Well, if I have a 3D layer, I have these handles here, and I can just rotate here, and we can see that my background is 3D, so let's, uh, unhide that and uh, turn that off 3D just so we can see what's going on with the shape layer and sort of rotate it freely if we want to by just selecting around the layer or if we move our mouse over any of these axes and we get the little Y indicator that means we can rotate it on the Y axis or we can rotate it on the Z axis or the X axis and what's cool is you can also animate the orientation as well. So if you make a keyframe on the orientation and just rotate there and rotate there and rotate there and then just maybe move forward and frame to like two seconds and then just blip, blip, blip and then maybe like one more second forward and then right click on orientation and reset it. Select those keyframes and ease them just for fun. Now I got this weird, funky sort of orienting shape. So the rotation tool is pretty cool. Last thing you can do with the rotation tool that I use pretty regularly is with a camera rig. So a camera rig in After Effects is basically having a virtual camera. And if you have a camera like I do here, and then I hit Control Alt Y on my keyboard, that'll make something called a null object and basically just holds data. I connect that camera to the null I set that background to 3D, and now I have this, make sure the null is 3D as well. I have this thing that's gonna control the camera. So if I were to, say, change the position or the rotation of the camera, it will move the camera as well. So how does this play into the rotation tool? Well, with the null selected, I can set a keyframe on the orientation at zero, zero, and then maybe we'll just futz with it a little bit. So we'll move the X rotation around just a hair, move the Y, make sure that null is selected. And then we'll go forward to like say three seconds and then we will re-adjust that orientation of the camera. And I still do have those keyframes on the shape layer so we'll get rid of those right now. Select the shape layer, hit U, get rid of those keyframes. Now I just have the null animating the name your layers camera controller and it's going to sort of rotate around sort of orbit. So that's another way I use the rotation tool. All right, so this one's getting a little bit more hairy and I did cover a couple extra things. Let me know in the comments if you uh, have questions on that or anything for that matter. All right, my friends, that is today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you learned something, let me know in the comment section down below or just drive a truck into that like button. It lets me know that I'm making content that is valuable to you. If you wanna check out some of the cool things I offer, the links are going to be in the description down below. And until next time, my name is John Jagsney. I appreciate you and I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Goodbye. Put the place up. Face up.